Hey there guys, how's it going? Welcome to another Ark Survival Evolved video on the PS4 Pro. Obviously, PvP servers, the continuation of the PvP series. Oh my word, is that a Trudon over there? Oh my word, that thing. If I can, currently just on a uh, random island server, coming here to hopefully cause a little bit of mischief. You guys seem to enjoy that, and it's quite fun to do, even though it is super, super high risk. Obviously, I'm mean, risking some really good gear. Oh, Trudons all over the place here. Uh, but yeah, I'm doing this third person camera so I can actually see the Trudons a little bit better when they're approaching, hopefully not get absolutely smished by them because I haven't got my stuff yet. Uh, so yeah, if you guys really enjoy these videos where I kind of go and PvP and take a lot of risks to bring you guys some uh, potentially good action, don't forget to smish that like video, guys, because as you can probably see by the title of the video, we're going to be risking some pretty good gear today. This is almost like a little tactic, isn't it? I haven't really thought about this before. Oh my word, I've come to get this drop and it's in the middle of a base, although this base looks a little bit abandoned for want of a better word so I might be able to get in here still so let's have a little look i could probably just jump off the edge oh no yeah this looks pretty uh abandoned all right yeah this looks like it's going to be a good place there's one plant species there should be able to get our stuff from here all right so let's get my gear and then let's have a little look around this server and see what's up all right, so I've got all my gear. Let's have a little look through what I've brought to hopefully do some damage today. No real plan. Obviously, this isn't going to be a raid. I haven't bought explosives, but I had quite a lot of feedback from you guys. Quite a lot of you like me just kind of picking at teams and picking at people like the 5v1 scenarios and all that. Maybe we'll get a bit of that going on today. Right, so the first thing I'm going to do actually is put my whip on a very easy to access number because that is quite often used um in the pvp when you get picked a lot you want to whip them straight off and i am gonna put the weapons i'll mainly use on the hot bar so we have got a mastercraft assault rifle 192 percent damage and that is the weapon that we're i guess showcasing today there's something that's a little bit different let's put it to the test see if it's uh, actually useful in pvp personally i don't think they're that useful for pvp the best scenarios really is if you get picked they can be quite good and they're quite good for doing like massive damage against things like i don't know say you're fighting the brute mother or a big tame like they're not too bad in that kind of scenario um i've also got some really nice armor uh and to be honest other than the um the mastercraft assault rifle a lot of this stuff is pretty replaceable we bought the compound bow for a little bit of ranged action the crossbow uh for fire arrows and a few grapple hooks as well if i get into trouble um i should probably put the food there let's go fill up the water and yeah that's basically the setup today pretty nice little setup no idea what this server is like there is currently about 60 people on this server so we're definitely going to find some people maybe we'll find the big tribes maybe we'll find some smaller tribes i don't know either way it'd just be fun to get a little bit of use out of this assault rifle and uh but yeah like i say i am always hugely risking things because there's a good chance i could just get killed or i just die stupidly over nothing with this really good gear so like i say if you guys do like me doing this don't forget to show some support get the views up get the likes up leave some comments and all of that because uh yeah big risks but it's all about the entertainment so let's head over to herbivore island or herbivore island as some people like to say uh, obviously there is something here. This kind of looks like an old base. Either that or it's a base in the making. I mean, they haven't got the crop plots up really. Get a little closer. Probably built in this area if they have. Mm, there's not actually much built down there. So yeah, this is either in progress or it's a, a half attempted project that didn't go so well. Brontos all around. Let's have a little look at the name of the tribe who put all this down. These are Alpha. Well, they're Alpha apparently. Not a very Alpha looking area here. Yeah, not much here. I'm going to start with the South Coast. Normally quite popular. Normally one or two decent bases around. Uh, actually, I need to get some meat for my bird first. So I'll do that and then we'll get stuck in. So something different about today's video, you might have noticed I'm on an Argent today. And the thinking behind that is I was fed up of just sacrificing, bringing a decent amount of stuff. Is that someone's Pteranodon? That is, that is someone on a Pteranodon. I'm not going to kill that. That's level, he's level 62. Um, 
I don't know, if I was proper ruthless, I could go for that, but I'm not going to. presume he will just leave me alone. That would be nice to like just try and ping like one compound arrow at his head. <laughs> Let's see if we can do that. Let's just get rid of this thing first. This is blatantly going to attack me. Get rid of that. Come here, you little scribe deep. Right, he's not expecting me here. Let's see if he will stand still for me. Or just... Oh, God, I can't resist just trying to ping that thing. Look. What do you reckon about there? We'll try and get him, not the bird. Let's not be too mean. Boom! I don't know if he stood, he used to stand a bit more still, mate. I think I'm too high there. Is he looking at me? I don't know. Can't really tell. Let's give it a ping. Ooh! <laughs> I'm sorry, man. Or am I? He's got like, what the big mean? What the big? I haven't bought a sniper to do anything to him, though. All right, okay, I feel bad. Oh, <laughs> that was that was mean. All right, screw it. I'm in a PvP. I don't care. I've got a bloodlust. I'm going around and causing trouble. I'll probably get killed here anyway, and then I'll regret not smishing everyone. Right, let's keep on going. Let's see what is around. Um, yeah, but like I was saying, um, I basically uh, was fed up of sacrificing sacrificing weight. So I thought, let's just have the weight. And uh, let's just go and do what we want. And also, it's because I'm weighing a bit more right now. It's going to make me difficult to do much with me if anyone ends up picking me, which I'm sure will be happening. Uh, a bit dark right now. Not really ideal. Some, uh, oh, I see lights on. Ooh -hoo -hoo. Let's see what's going on here. What is going on around here, eh? Oh, it's just a naked guy. He's just a naked guy. Oh, I, mm, no, no, I can't. I can't. I'm, um, I could set him on fire. I don't know. I can see you guys in the comments section right now just like giggling to yourselves. Oh, I'm going to set him on fire. Set him on fire. It'd be funny. You would upset. Oh, jeez. Headshotted him. I guess this is an ascendant bow. Right, maybe, I mean, look. I need to feed my uh I need to feed my birds, so this was completely worth it, alright guys, don't ever go at me. And I've over encumbered myself as well. Damn, this thing like this headshotted him. I guess it is still a compound bow, you know, you can't not a compound bow, it's still an ascendant crossbow, you can't forget. Didn't even get to set him on fire, it was kinda of suck, but obviously you can see that was self-defense guys. He was kinda of looking at my bird funny and I need to feed my bird, so uh yeah, let's move on. Let's see what else is around. I guess the good thing about nighttime is you get to like see any little fires that are on and stuff. So there's that. Uh, let's have a little fly around. See who is next. Oh, hang on. Is this a base here? I've got to be careful. Oh my god, these tornadoes are just sitting there. Yo, 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 yo. What the heck is attacking me there? It's a raptor, which is super annoying because. Come on in. Come at me, Raptor. Oh, there's one here as well. I didn't really want this scenario because I wanted to just be able to go at this. Oh, now the freaking Doeheads after me. Oh, Jesus. No? Doeheads, calm down. Doeheads not after me. But was the... Oh, my God. It is. Hold on. Maybe just a, a quick in and out here because I'm absolutely ruthless. Ding, diddling, ding, 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 diddling, ding, 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 ding. Wow, there's really no, like, hardly any drop at all. Okay. Wow, that's awkward. Oh. Oh, birds are neutral here, boys. Wow, how did that not die from that? Okay, let's take it away. You're going to leave it on neutral, mate. I'll take it away. If you're going to leave it on neutral. Ding, diddling, ding, 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 ding. Oh, I forget they're faster, aren't they? Should actually be able to just kill it from like doing this. If it just keeps attacking me, because uh well, it's faster. I guess I could try and bowler it. Problem is, you know what it's like? Like anywhere you land around here, there's gonna be loads of things that just come at you. Actually, to be honest, it might calm down after a bit. That's quite often what happens. So let's just take it away a bit. I can't, like if they don't hit you for a while, they quite often calm down. Oh crap, just hit me again. Ding, 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 ding. Dong, dong, dong. I mean, it would take it forever to actually kill this bird. So, there's not someone on it, is there? I don't know, just the way it's flying, it looks like kind of. If it means business. If we just do circles, it would just chill. 
I guess I forgot that. Like, I'm obviously not going to be faster than Pteranodons. Because I'm kind of I'm just looking for somewhere to land, or I'm not going to get absolutely smashed by, like, random wild creatures. Because uh, I'm not about that life. Look, there's Therizinos everywhere. There's a Carno there. There's a Raptor here. It's still, it's still after me. All right, let's see if we can bowler it. It might not be easy, actually. I keep flying around like a madman. <laughs> I've got my own bird. Yeah, where'd it go? Oh my god. Freaking birds, man. Oof. Oh, this is better. Okay, if I just keep throwing it like that. Oh my god, how did that not get it? Oh, I got it. Ha! Sorted. That was so lucky. This one must be a bit high level because I already hit it once. Oh, one, three, five. The destruction continues, guys. The destruction continues. Oh, is that a guy flying around? No, that was a uh, demon. Right, okay. I've been a bad, bad man so far. Let's wait for the karma train to hit. Now look around green orb. It's actually, it's not even like sectioned off. Ooh, I like that. I can use this to uh, get back home, hopefully. <laughs> Who am I kidding? I'm not getting back home, am I? I'm not getting back home. Yeah, anyway, that's uh, worth having a look. No base around here. Let's move on. Ooh, hold on. What's this? What's this cheeky little scenario? Let's see, Behemoth Gates. Gadgy. Do you have the turrets? Uh, oh, there's something up the top as well. Oh, yes. There's a lot of... Whoa. There's a lot of turrets in a small space. Actually, a lot of plants. There's not actually that many turrets. It's kind of a bit of an odd scenario. Don't really fancy dipping in there, though. There probably is a blind spot around the back. I haven't got explosives, so I'm not really that bothered about that. And then what's this up the top? Not much, by the looks of it. Not much. So, yeah. Not much I can do there. Let's move on. Now the trees seem to be down here, which makes me think we've got something here. And we do. This looks like a, a raided base though. Nothing, yeah, nothing really here anymore. I quite like this base location though. It's not a bad one. So yeah, let's move on. So for those of you who are PS4 viewers of mine and have only recently started watching my channel, this is actually an amazing base location here. It might not look it, but this section here is absolutely awesome. It's just on the south side of the Redwood here, slightly towards the east. Uh, and it just makes an awesome base location. You've got almost everything you need here. Not too many end people end up trying to build there. But if you watch my uh, primitive, well, not even primitive. If you watch my extinction series, you will see that um, we managed to do some really good stuff at that location. So I highly recommend checking that one out if you never tried to build there before. Okay, big moves here. Approaching the volcano. We'll all see. As I'm moving in, I'm very careful. I can already see some uh, some spikes there. Can't see much turret coverage up here. Is there someone in the volcano? Got to be careful because people don't have to kick this out sometimes. No, there is no volcano base. This server is a bit... A bit dead in the popular uh, areas that I've been to so far. It makes me think that there's probably a lot more over at the uh, south coast than I gave an opportunity to. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to head directly south there over to Stonehenge. Uh, just to the right of Stonehenge. You can see where I'm pointing my beak there now. That is a uh, popular spot that has got some metal on. So let's head in that direction. We'll scout a bit more of the south before going up to the north. Oh, is someone holding a bird there? Oh, no. Oh, I thought there was someone holding someone. I guess not. I was like, oh, I'm going to catch someone while they're freaking trying to tame a quetz or something. But no, no luck. Let's continue on. Might actually go a little bit lower here. Doesn't really make much sense for me to uh, go this high. Let's get rid of that chat box. But yeah, doesn't make sense to go that high. I might miss out on some uh, interesting bases. Redwood is somewhere you don't see many people build. Let me know, guys, if you've got a base in the Redwood. And how's it... How's it doodling for you? How's it working out? It can be very tricky. 
Uh, I think one of the main reasons people don't tend to build there is it's quite tricky to build there from the start. There's a lot of things in the Redwood, which when you're low level and you don't really have many tames, are a, a real pain to deal with. Also looking out here, if I see any areas which normally have a lot of trees on um, that don't, obviously it means there's some stuff built there. But we're going to hit the peak of this mountain here. This is a great mountain, by the way, guys. If, uh, like, again, like I said again, if you haven't seen my Extinction series, I really like this area. And not only just up on the top there, but down in these trees to my right-hand side is where we had a really effective base once. Because although this uh, area isn't swimming in metal, there is enough metal on this mountain. You can see we've got some nodes there. There's some going up the top here. There's more than enough metal for uh, at least one tribe to be able to do quite a lot. All the way up here, some rich nodes. All very nice, very nice. Is there a double XP thing here? I'm not actually sure. So what we've got here, we've got a base that looks either half finished or half arsed, maybe raided. It's a bit of a bit of a mess. Kind of some metal. Can't really don't, don't see any tames, which is normal. Oh no, there is some tames in there. See, it's maybe this is an active base. Who are these guys? White walkers. See, this isn't the worst location. You see they've got Fiomia. I don't really oh hold on, I saw that tree go down. Is someone harvesting there? Or is that just something walking over it? Yeah, I don't I mean I'm not looking to raid really. Um so I'm not gonna break in here. They probably wouldn't have anything for me anyway, so I'm more on the lookout for players. Uh to try and have a bit of fun with players. I don't think you guys want to see me like break into bases where there's gonna be no good loot and stuff, so psh. Forget that. That's why I don't bring explosives on these videos. I might do it at a later date. All right, we've got another base here. This looks a bit better, but it looks like it's been raided. Is that? Oh, and then we've got another base over there. All right, we're starting to find some places now. So yeah, this has been a raided base. Kind of cool looking. It looks like they made. Uh, they tried to make it look like a castle, which is always nice. I appreciate that. This area is normally. Ooh, hold on. We've got cave style base. Oh, that's on wild. Did you see that? Those turrets are shooting at that wild dino. What the scrib? Lost. The Lost Tribe. Looks like they've been raided, actually. Let's go here. Is this Lost Tribe as well? Ooh, this is quite big. This is Lost as well. So I guess they've moved into here. Interesting. Quite a lot of plants. This is six times damage, this area. So this would be a super easy raid. Not that I'm obviously, like I said really prepped to raid. I'm guessing this is them as well. Sailors. Interesting. A little look up. I guess another plus point of being on this RG is that you could actually soak a few bullets. Uh, turret bullets compared to other stuff. Let's have a look from above. I'm not seeing any action from people. Let's see if they're home. Anybody home? This isn't a bad base. It will get absolutely smashed in a raid, but... Um, some of you guys might have seen us actually. We in one of my early Xbox series, we raided. Oh god, Infrict. Yeah, you can see I can tank a few bullets, which is nice. But yeah, we um, raided a base that was there. Yeah, like I said, I'm not in a position to raid right now, so I'm just gonna have to carry on. Quite a big base going on here on the south coast. Uh, is that the Thames over there? It looks like it. Some decent Rexes. Ooh, a decent Pronto as well. NATO the God. Naked and afraid. Ooh, there's a Quetzal. You know my compound bow likes a Quetzal. What we got there? Some protected plant species. These guys know a bit about what's going on in this game. Armoured plant species. Not that I ever bother. Cannot be bothered. Yeah, see that thing is... It's kind of frustrating me. I should really come out with like at least two people. Because if it was two of us, they could just hover me while I kill that quetz. But, uh, yeah. Can't really do it solo. I'd have to like jump off. And it's very risky. They've got more tames over the back there. Uh, which I could have a look at. See if there's any like areas of this base where I can just sneak up. Probably is. But I really want to get that quetz so I could do some damage to the Bronto because it's so big. But is the Quetzal not protected in any way? Looks like there's not much turrets over here. Be careful, they do have plant species there. Looking for some potential high ground. Not seeing much. No line of sight on the Quetz there. 
plenty of turrets over this side as well. Although, I sh might be able to get a compound bow over that and across. Let's have a little look. Ugh. Oh no, that's a bit risky. Go third person. What is that? Is that another quest? It looks like it. With like, yeah, minigun turrets on. How close can I get here without being shot by these? Hello? Um, hello? Well, what the heck? Something attacking my bird. What's going on here? Ah, compies. Grab that compy. Compy man, why are you killing me? Right, how close can I get? Let's do it on the bird, because I don't just fly away. Oh, hang on. Why is that Bronto looking at me? Was that looking at me before? Why am I able to get so close here? Are these things on low? Oh. What the freak? Oh. I can see a line of sight. Ah. No. Oh. Right, this is it like here, isn't it? Oh my god, look. There's that Quetzal's head right there. I could get that. Oh, let's give it a go. <sighs> Try a bit higher. Bit higher again. I swear if it's compy. Try a turret height. Hmm. I'm not hitting anything, Compy. I'm not hitting anything, mate. Bird, can you not do that? Right. Let's try here. Boom! Why am I not hitting that? I don't think I'm firing too high. Oh, really should have bought my freaking... Uh... Let's try a, a fire arrow. Right, that's way too low. Dehydrated. Oh, the Therizina's after me. Maybe I'm hitting it. Get some water in me. If I jump up, I can see where it's hitting. Oh. They've got a Therizina, which is cool. I think that's too low still. I think that hit, you know. Oh, I don't know. Right, what turret is it that's shooting me when I do... It's that one there, isn't it? Where I can, like, block it. Oh, God. Oh, I'm fucking wrecking my armor now. I've got good armor on, but not that good. Right. Let's have another go. I'm not understanding why I'm not hitting this quest with these compound barrows. This is, like, right on it. Have a little look. <sighs> ah, come on. I mean, I'm going to try higher, but... I don't know. I don't feel like these compound bows, they really, like, go for a long way straight. I'd be surprised. Come on. Maybe I'm going too high. Maybe I'm too high. Are we ready to jump? That would look about right. Using a lot of arrows here. But it'd be worth it to get his quits. Because I'm sure that's a good quit. That would probably annoy them quite a lot. Let's try another jump. Huh. Got to wait each time. Man, this is really frustrating me. Oh my god, I could use that turtle's cover. But it won't stay there. That's a problem. Hmm. Alright, let's have another think about this. Huh. Huh. Right. Damn, I really thought maybe there's something in the way. I don't know, man. I don't know. That Therizino on freaking neutral, lol. I did just get my chest piece wrecked doing that. I'm looking... I'm trying to think of some more high ground here, but I don't think there is. Damn, I'd really love to hit that quits, though. That would be sweet.
right, I'm fed up of that. I've wasted too many arrows. I really thought I'd be able to hit that from there. And I've also absolutely smished my uh, compound bow. Maybe let's throw one into this Bronto so that, like, anything else that's on neutral might come flying out. I don't know if that's too high. Ah, I guess it is. Booge! You hit that for me? I'm not hitting anything today. What the heck? It just ain't my day. This ain't my day. There's something about this base where I just can't hit anything. Oh, that quits will be such an easy kill as well. Ugh, it's really frustrating. There's no like, there's probably like a blind spot or something in there, but I don't really want to risk that. It's not worth because I haven't done much PvPing yet. Um, let's see if maybe there's a hole or something around the outside. Got decent turret coverage there. Yeah, I think we have to leave that. I mean, the turrets are badly placed. They are very badly placed, but um, I'm not in the position where I can go and miss move them yet. Maybe later on. I mean, I can definitely kill those T-Rexes from the back, maybe? Hmm. I think I can get that quits from the back. But yeah, that thing's head was, like, in prime position for me to take it out. I don't know why I wasn't hitting it, but no luck. Let's um, move on, see who else is around. Oh, there's someone here. Hello. <laughs> wow, just went straight up for the pike. What a meanie. What a meanie. I don't think that pike's doing much, mate. What else you got? What else you got, mate? Oh, he's sinking. What else have I got? I've got a club. Oh, no. He's going to go back for the pike. Let's drop him in the water. Yeah, drop him in the water. Let him go about his business. He can have a little swim first, though. Of course. Why not? Right, so I can't see much there. Let's go up the west coast and then we'll go across. Oi, oi, a big old base up here. Well, I mean, lots of uh, behemoth gates. Surely these guys have got something good going on. Or maybe they've just wasted loads of time doing that. Uh, I think maybe their base is up here, actually. Keep going this way. Ooh, yeah, we've seen... We're seeing a coloured um, behemoth gates, always the dream. We've got plant species, well, we've got crop plots with no plants in. I wonder if I could get on top of that. Uh, it's going to be way too risky, actually, way too risky. And what is that there, a cheeky little sarco? Um, not seeing many plant species. Can I actually land in that back bit? Kind of looks like I can. Apart from that one plant species there is going to be super annoying. I think I can land here. Famous last words. I can. He goes in. He sneaks. He goes for the pteranodon. It's so neutral. Oh, what the hell? They've got a Therizino. These guys have got a Therizino as well. Jeez. Right, come then. You're coming with me, mate. You are coming with me? Whoa, there is actually an auto turret? Or was that a freaking player shooting me? That was a player. That was a good shot. Because <laughs> I was moving. Right, let's go over here. Take you away. Hopefully we get another bowler on him. Hello, hello, hello. Yes, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Uh, I actually got loads of... All right, mate. This one's a bit cheeky, isn't it? It really does want a piece of me. All right. Can be you have super skip. Well, it's gonna circle me, so I guess all I can do is just try and work out when its freaking circle pattern is. I'll just freaking throw it. There you go. It's not easy to do that. I might as well just actually pike this now. Whoa. You get piked, skip. I wonder if it's got a decent saddle on it. Chicken soup. I eat pteranodon soup, is what I'm saying. Um no. Nothing decent. All right, let's go back. Let's go back. Get a feeling these ones might be online because they've got their quets parked outside and everything. So, could have a bit of fun here, guys. Could be having a bit of fun. All right, we're back. We're back. What the heck is that? Is that a Belzy Bufo? I better kill that because that will knock me out. Oh, I can hear him. I can hear him. Can I hit that? No. Okay. They're around. They're around. 
I need I hear whistles. Holy ball sacks. Alright, there goes my fucking There goes my freaking chest piece. Bam! Had that not hit. Hell. Come here. Why is that not hitting? Oh, that's got to be a good one. That is taking a pounding. One, three, four. Oh! Got you. Got him. He's punching me, mate. He's punching me. You was skip. He's got nothing on him. Nothing on him. Could just take him away. And he'll just be out of the picture for a while. What do you reckon? How many mates you got? Anyone helping you? Um, no one right now. No one right now. Let's take him out to sea for a little... Just for a little drink. So we can't do any bob fishing. Should have tried to grapple him, actually. Look, mate, there's no point in doing that. You're going for... Actually, if I drop him from high as well, that will... Uh, we'll have to spend extra time, like, dropping. What's the story, mate? What's the story? I don't think you're going to knock this thing out. Like, why do people even bother? And... We'll see you later. Right, let's head back. <laughs> I don't know how many of them are live. It looks like it could be some fun, guys. Looks like we could have some PvP! My chest piece actually ain't even that bad. So I got absolutely smashed by those turrets. Have a look around. Now, one of the main issues about doing this kind of thing around people's bases is if they get on, like, birds and pick you... Oh my god, look, you see, there's a pteranodon there already. They can drop you into their turrets, and normally you'll just die. Like, there's not much defense against that. Now, if that guy's gone to pick his mate up, that might be what he's doing. But there's a guy here. Like, if I can bait them out far enough that they won't be able to, like, drop me into the turrets quickly, we're all good. What might I do, actually? I might do the classic. You've seen me do it before. I'm going to come back. There's no need for me to stick around i'll see if there's any other fun to be had and i'll come back cause some more trouble when their uh, guard is down a little bit more damn alpha t-rex look at that they always look so scary that bright red them for i haven't got what i'd need to take it out right now but damn they always look so cool all we've got base here potentially we see behemoth gates try not to get too close because they might have turrets just on the other side up we go, and what we see in here. Oh, this is a base. This is a. Um, I don't see many tames though. Do not see many tames. I'm guessing they're all in that stone pen, which is smart ish. And uh, the crops up here. Very like spread out. Yeah, they've got their tames in there. Oh, plant species. Uh, alright, is there anyone around to fight me? They might be out and about. Uh, yeah, the behemoth gates here are actually working quite well. I mean, don't get me wrong. If I had explosives, I'd just blow one up and I'd just start smashing in. But, oh, they've got some stuff in there. Hold on. Hold on a minute. What are you seeing? Stegos, Rexes. I mean, it's nothing crazy here. The hell, is that an open? Oh no, it's two closed doors. Um, not much to be done here unless someone, I see someone, and I can't. But yeah, that basically ain't too bad. Could be a lot worse. Obviously very raidable, but yeah, no one there to have fun with. Let's, uh, let's try somewhere else. They're, the server's really busy. There should be lots of people around somewhere. Already this is like... This bit in front is singing to me because there's normally trees here. So this means there's at least a few foundations here. Oh, that is a big stone building. Raided by the looks of it. Yeah, this is a raided base. So, well, they had to go. They had to go at least. No one seems to be out farming. 
it would always be good to find people out farming because then obviously like their guard is down they're not at their base you can pvp with them properly but i don't know no one ever seems to farm or at least i don't find them where they are um but yeah i'm currently heading across the map like northeast across the map i'm not going to go into the snow it's obviously super cold i don't i don't need that right now oh my god famous last words hello oh, it's going away that sucks what if i could hit that that'd be freaking legit i wonder if i can pick the rider or something i might be able to i was like oh nobody ever farms what do you know this quest one might be faster than me though so i might not be able to catch it we'll see or it might be very slow oh there it is they're doing i i think they've got the foundations they're actually stopping anything from happening so let's maybe just try and follow it sneakily let's have a look at this thing oh too far away for me to actually get a reading on it all right well as long as i follow the direction it's going we should be fine hopefully they won't see me because what i was thinking of doing is possibly picking the guy on top but i don't know if he's got the foundations blocking him from being picked he probably does they're smart enough to use an anki with a with the weight glitch with the ramp then they're probably smart enough to know you should have your rider protect at all times but let me just see where they're going maybe they're going to base maybe they're i was thinking maybe they're going to the northeast mountain but it doesn't look like it but they might lead me straight to a base Oh, they're coming down. So it looks like they're probably in that big open area there. Looking like it. I might just stalk them for a bit rather than uh, mess with them. Let's see. All right, my impatience has got the better of me. I was waiting for them there on Obsidian Mountain, but I don't know. It seems like they're not going to come and play. So I will come back. I'm hoping to catch those guys out farming. We're going to go to the Northern Oasis, and then we're going to go Carnival Island and see if there's anyone around there. Aha, uh -huh, Northern Oasis. There is something going on. Wild Tapahara. Ooh, yeah, and there's actually people at home by the looks of it and i'm not seeing many turrets or anything let's have what we've got um no i'm seeing a there's something on there though a dung beetle that's probably their dung beetle what is going on here is like no defenses what hold up this can't be right it's just a light that the, oh that one turret there i see interesting one turret strap and they're built on pillars so not the smartest yeah i can't see i don't know if they're home or not i mean obviously there's a fire on so it doesn't mean much it does seem to be like a bit of metal hmm I don't see anyone around. Probably are around though. So I've got like one turret there. Okay. And nothing else. Hmm. Don't imagine there's much else here though. No real tanks to mess with. They seem a bit low level and whatever. We'll leave this. We'll leave them to their business. Let's go Carnival Island. Oh, there is someone here. Ooh, just saw them flying, actually. 
Let's hide. I'm gonna get this off the screen because it's annoying. I just saw someone flying off the Naji. They're probably gonna go get that drop actually. Big guess. Yeah, they are. Maybe we could like pick them as they do it. Oh, he's getting off. He's going for that drop. We got him. Did we? Yes, we got him. Has he got a whip? He doesn't seem to have anything on him. No, he doesn't have anything on him. Let's see if any of his friends come to help him. I don't think you're going to survive that, mate, with a pickaxe. Five minutes? Oh, man. Alright, let's uh, try and kill this dude. Five minutes! Oh, he's gone for the sickle. No. Right, okay. Let's kill the bird. Dum, dum, dun, 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 dun. She's flame arrows. I don't know what level it is. Oh my. Are you, are you actually on neutral? I'm so dumb with life. You're on neutral. Whatever. We'll take it back. Hopefully, we can get back before the reset. Freaking neutral birds, man. Neutral birds. What is life? Whew. Well, we're going to have to try and get somewhere safe for this reset as well. There's not many safe places these days with Therizinos everywhere. Let's just land. We'll hopefully just get this kill. Uh, come here. We're going to hit? Yeah. And it's going to go down. There you go. 104. Decent saddle or anything, buddy? Nope, just normal. I'll take the meat for my bird and that's going to make me have a wait. If I, I'm going to find somewhere hopefully safe to chill. I'll wait for this server reset. 